Hi, my name is Richard Walters and in this demonstration we're going to look at linking tasks and globally linking tasks. Linking tasks involves different linking operations, there's five of them all together and global linking involves linking all the tasks in a project together. These will all now be looked at. In this demonstration, we're going to look at linking two tasks together as well as globally linking tasks. So we'll start off by having a look at linking task one and task two together, which is ID one. It's number one, that's an ID one and ID two. So I'm going to link HR handover to design job specification. Different ways of doing this. I'm clicking on the task HR handover. I'm going to double left click with my mouse. And I get a gray box up called task information. This box could also be launched on a right click. So you highlight the task and you right click and you could use information. Either way works. I'll leave the box open now. I'm going to go to the predecessor section and I'll link to the ID I want. So here, for example, I'm going to link to ID one. And that shows me design job specification. The default link is finish the start, which means the first task will finish, then the second task will start. Let's demonstrate it. And that's the way the first link looks as the default. And you'll see a number goes in the predecessors column, which tells you which ID you link into. We'll have a look at another link now. And that's going to be start to start. It's the second one. So what this means is the two blue bars will start at the same time concurrently. And there's a join in arrow at the front of them. And there's a start to start symbol. Let's look at the next one. Finish to finish. What this is going to do, the two blue bars will finish at the same time. And there's the visual of it. And the last link, start to finish. Now what this does, task two, which is the successor task, and task one is the previous task. So what happens is task two will will start before task one starts. So it'll actually come backwards. So let's have a look at this. And project even gives you a message here saying you're moving the task before the start date. Because the start date is the 20th of November. Click OK. And you can see we've gone back to the Friday the 17th. So this link is used seldomly, but it is used. And this link would be used for any information like preliminary work. So, so prior to a project or process. So these are the four kinds of links in project. I'm now going to get rid of that last link. And to do this, I can click on none. And sometimes the none doesn't work. If that doesn't work, you can always delete links or change links from the predecessors columns. I've clicked on predecessors and I'll just now delete it. And that gets rid of the link. And as you saw a link get deleted, you could type them in. So if I wanted start to start, I could type in one SS. If I wanted to delete it, I'm going to delete it in this case. So that shows you the different types of links. We're now going to look at global linking. What global linking means is linking all the pro project tasks together. So to do this, you highlight the whole of the task list. Then you go to the task tab the schedule section of the ribbon and you click on the link the selected tasks chain. And now all the tasks are linked together at this point in the time. Then you could then turn on what's called the project summary task. And this could then give you a idea of the total duration of the project and the start and finish date. So now if I were to change a link now, say for example, I changed task four and five where I change these to finish the start. This would now update the project and it would reduce it by three days. So let me have a go at that. So I'll just double click on five, change it to a start to start. 
and that now takes me back down to 56 days. So this covers the project video on LinkedIn tasks as well as global LinkedIn. This concludes the demonstration on LinkedIn tasks and globally LinkedIn tasks. See you in the next video.